that we must we got some we got some work in terms of connecting Ronaldo's with Atlanta. Ronaldo, have, you, have you ever been on Morehouse campus before? He's never been on Morehouse's campus. He lives in Atlanta. We have a bus tour every year from Chicago down to here from Kip, Chicago, coming to see Spill in Atlanta and Morris Brown and Flam. You, he's never seen Morehouse campus. He lives in Atlanta. We got some kids in Chicago who've never seen Lake Michigan. They've never seen Lake Michigan. I didn't say Museum of Science and Industry, a planetarium, a public library. They've never seen Lake Michigan. As we deal with the dimensions of this thing, so that's just, say, children remember more where you took them than what you bought them. Children, remember more where you took them than what you bought them. I mean, some mentoring is as simple as taking the child downtown or taking the child through the college campus or letting them see the Atlanta that we see on TV. Who's not the one he lives in, born housing development. I want us, among other things, Jess, we're going to figure out a way to adopt the Boeing housing area. Very real leadership in Boeing. Now, some people have some plans to tear it down. We have some plans to keep it up. Why tear down the place? Um, it's, what's the difference the project in the condominium is whether it's fixed up or not. You walk in this house, there's a kitchenette. Uh, that is a pantry, that's a living room, a little place over there to eat, central heat, air condition, up the stairs like all of them are made, t bathroom up top, three bedrooms. In New York, that's $6,000 a month. It's a condominium. It, but, if you're, but, it, but if in your mind, that's projects. If you, if you drop that project thing on it, all of a sudden, it becomes unlivable. Where he lives is among the best housing in the world. If you're from Asia, Africa, most places in the world where he's living in one night is six thousand dollars a month. Talk to me somehow. I want y'all to feed, feed me. Come back to me now. Come back to me. So say, well, you got all the poor folk over there. Well, one one way to break it up in say in Atlanta, hundred forty thousand families make forty thousand dollars a year, cannot find a place to stay at that range. Eighty thousand willing to pay $600 a month, cannot find livable housing. Now, Gail, suppose rather than close the project down and run people away, suppose you put 30% of the people in, the in that, that 40,000, suppose you moved into Bowen houses. Suppose you had black-on-black -black integration as opposed to, as opposed to gentrification. <laughs> suppose, so, suppose some teachers and some firemen and police moved in the Boeing as residents.